G'day guys, welcome to Axe Rugby, my name's Alex. I'm gonna teach you how to train your upper body like a professional rugby player does in their regular training during the season. If you have any questions as we go along, chuck them in the comments, otherwise let's get into that video now. Our first exercise is a superset of a landmine push press and a pen lay row. This is a power exercise. We're keeping the weight a little bit lighter but moving it really quickly. The beauty of these landmine movements is it doesn't require a lot of skill to do the movement to its maximum effectiveness. And just because it's not a technically very hard exercise doesn't mean you won't get great benefits from doing it. I've got 20 kilos on the end of the bar here and for me at 100 kilos this was a good weight. To perform the landmine push press correctly we want to bend at the hips, knees and ankles, dipping a little bit and then exploding through and then as we extend the arm out it should all be happening at the same time. The bar should travel in a straight line, it shouldn't circle out to the side, it should be a straightforward push movement when doing this. There may be a reason this exercise isn't applicable for you, it could be you don't have enough space in your garage etc but a leaning landmine push press is still a great option for you, making sure that you still extend through with good power you might have to lower the weight because you can't use your whole body when doing this the landmine penle row is a great pulling power exercise setting up the bar in the corner pulling back towards you it's a fixed bar position we're really trying to row to just under the chest and we're moving that bar really quickly i'm in a tripod position here if you feel like your back is a little bit uncomfortable you can rest your elbow on your leg as seen here it's a great way to develop that explosive power make sure when doing the superset you finish the push press straight into these rows and then rest your two minutes now with the power out the way we're into our bench press and our neutral grip pull-ups which is our 2a and 2b this is where we're focusing on our strength stimulus perform a and then immediately perform b and then rest for three minutes after for our bench press we've got four sets of five reps we're trying to work up to about 85 percent of our one rep max so if it was 100 kilos about 85 kilos for the sets of five so your first set might be 70 to 75 second set 75 to 80 and then sets three and four might be around that 82 and a half to 85 percent i keep my bench set up pretty simple i try to tuck my shoulder blades underneath have a small arch in my back and keep my feet on the floor and i'm always driving my heels into the floor to give me a nice stable base we then immediately superset this with neutral grip pull-ups. We've got four sets and the reps for these are six, six, four, four. I want full extension at the elbows when doing my reps and I'm getting my shoulders to touching the top of the rack. Once you can complete this for the designated number of reps, we can then add weight. However, if you do struggle with doing pull-ups, band assisted pull-ups are a great way to get reps in the bank. Attach a power band, this could be purple, green or blue band depending on your weight or how much help that you need and you can then do the reps complete where we're getting our shoulders up to the top and extending at the elbow. If you struggle with this, we then need to go into things like isometric holds where you just hold at the top, hold at the middle and then hold just off the bottom and we can do this for 10 to 20 seconds per set. Now, if you're in season, I probably wouldn't do this 3A and 3B. If you're doing pre-season, I would add in this 3A and 3B superset of an inclined dumbbell bench press with a single arm dumbbell row. We then have a rest for two minutes. The reason for this is in season, you might be a bit banged up and too much volume might make you a bit sore. However, if you do like to do your upper body, you can always keep this when you're doing your in season. It just depends on how much volume you're willing to do midweek. You can see I'm pairing lots of push and pull together. However, if you want to work on your pull, you can always do your pull exercises first and your push second. So for our incline dumbbell bench, we've only got three sets, not four, and we've got eight reps, so slightly higher volume, but still in that strength range. I am trying to get a good stimulus here, but through a full range of motion, I'm trying to get a nice stretch on the pec, extending up to the top. This weight shouldn't be so heavy that you can't control it or get enough range. Now, for some rugby players, I do understand your AC joints and your shoulders might be a bit sore, so definitely go with the range that you do feel comfortable with. As soon as you finish your incline dumbbell press, we're then into our three-point dumbbell row for once again, three sets of eight reps. We do this on both sides. We do have two different setups for this. The bench setup is nice and easy. It's really comfortable for most people. And I still think that it's a classic, even in the rugby world. We can get into more of a rugby specific stance where we have one hand on the bench and not the knee. This is a harder body position to be in. You might find you can't lift as much weight when doing this version. When doing this, try to keep your shoulders low. Don't row with your your trap coming up to your neck try to make sure you're a little bit more relaxed in your shoulders and you're trying to row with the muscles between your shoulder blades and your lats which is down the side of your back make sure you take your allocated rest this is quite tiring but these sets are supposed to be done very close together try your best to stick to the rest timings if it's too hard it might mean the weight is slightly too heavy for you to complete with this designated rest time 
Now finally we've got our volume finisher. So our 4A and 4B, we've got a three-way dumbbell fly, and then we've got a banded face pull, but only one minute rest. So it's a big volume finisher, so keep the weights a bit lighter. This is a hypertrophy finisher. So we're not doing loads of strength here. We're just getting a nice pump to finish the session. The three-way fly is a great exercise, and one that I really don't often like seeing that's in my workout, because it's really hard. So we start off with front raises. So I've got about seven kilos here. I'm doing my eight reps of front raises. I'm then going into a side raise for eight reps. Now when doing this, try to keep the swinging fairly low. It is hard because it is really fatiguing. We could be doing anywhere from 24 to 36 reps, depending on how many reps you want to do, what sort of pump you want. I was absolutely knackered by the end of this. So into my side raises, and then we bend over into our rear delt raise. You can sit to do this if you can't hold your back in that position. We can also use our band to do a banded pull apart if you don't find you get the burn in your rear delt when doing this version of the row. Really great exercise, really great pump. And then we immediately go into our banded face pull. So this is what makes this really hard and a great finisher. This is all about keeping our elbows wide and keeping our hands coming back towards our head. So we're really getting a nice big squeeze of our shoulder blades together, trying to slow this down as much as you can. I've just got a red band there. This is really taxing on those upper traps on those rhomboids between the shoulders. Great exercise for just opening up the chest and trying to squeeze those shoulder blades together and try to work on those pull muscles that often don't get that attention in the gym because of the more bias that people have towards their push exercises and things like dumbbell curls, etc. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. That is how you can train your upper body like a professional rugby player. This is an example of a program that you'd see in the in-season or pre-season. Uh, the in-season one won't have that set 3A and 3B, that's the inclined dumbbell press or the single arm dumbbell row. It's probably a bit too much volume for in-season, but as I said, if you have the time, you don't have a game that week, that's a great session to do. If you have any questions or you want to request a video, please drop them in the comments. And of course, if you have enjoyed the content, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.